Mom, may I have an iPod Touch? No, darling. We have iPod Touch at home. iPod Touch at home? Calm down, calm down, guys. I didn't spend money on this device. But the friend of mine who lent it to me... <laughs> what a moron. So today we'll take a look at the i... The iPod Touch... The i... Dude, what is it? According to the backside, it was created by Apple or someone who's really good at faking Apple logos. But on the front side, we can obviously see that this is a brazen copy by someone who can't distinguish a circle from a square. Designed by Apple in California. What have they done? So it seems like this is an iPod Nano 7th generation and maybe you watched my review about the 5th generation where I fell in love with the Nanos. Yeah, that's over and I'm ashamed that I said it. But honestly, how can something that cool transform in something that I don't even know a word to describe it? But let's start right in the beginning. The iPod Nano 7th generation was published in 2012. Just FYI, in that year Apple released the iPhone 5 and iPod Touch 5th generation. I didn't say that in a judgmental meaning, just to let you know Apple published some cool cool stuff besides this crap. However, it came with 16 gigabytes of storage and in 7 different colors. And now it comes. In 2015, Apple came up with 5 more colors, so more than 3 years they actually thought that this iPod is a nice and special device which would be loved by the customers. After this generation, the iPod Nano was discontinued by the way. What a coincidence. But what made this iPod that special? It came with a 2.5 inch 202 ppi display and something like a home button. And when you take a closer look at this home button, you might recognize that there is a circle instead of a square. The reason for that might be that Apple had concerns that customers can't distinguish the 7th generation Nanos from the iPod Touches. Above that, this iPod surprisingly doesn't run iOS. It runs iPod Nano 7th Gen OS, an operating system looking like this. Is it just me or does it look like a China copy of iOS 6? Okay, but let's assume you bought this iPod Nano. Presumably you did that to have a small device to listen to music. So, let's try to listen to music. Oh man, that's a pretty cool song. Yep, this device doesn't have a speaker, but it comes with Bluetooth 4.0, so it should be able to connect to my AirPods. And oh my god, that changes everything. Now I'm seeing this device from a whole different angle. It's so... Just a joke, it's still crap. Okay, let's take a look at the operating system. We got 8 apps, so you definitely can spend a lot of time playing around with this device. To exemplify that, you can check out the time in different countries or with many different watch types and you can adjust the brightness. Furthermore, it comes with a good working and reliable step counter to count your steps for Nike+. Plus. But one really cool feature is the radio function. You can play radio, pause it and skip advertisements later, if you have working headphones. I mean, the fifth generation of iPod Nanos had a radio mode too, but hey, they kept a cool feature. Another connection to the fifth generation is the weight. This device is freaking light. It weighs just 31 grams, so it feels like holding air in your hands. And you definitely wouldn't recognize when you lose it. But my review was pretty one-sided till now. Is this really a stupid crap device? No. It has a very special form factor and is pretty light, what makes it a good device for running. It has a very good battery time and it's pretty easy to use. But on the other hand, it's something very Apple unlike. They changed the representative square on the home button, let the OS look like some China copy, it's too small for people with huge hands and I can't feel the disappointment of every kid who wanted an iPod Touch for Christmas and got this. So would I recommend to buy it? Yes, if you're a midget who likes running. But if that isn't the case, I'd recommend to buy an iPod Touch 4th or 5th generation for roughly the same price of 30 bucks. So, thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate a feedback and don't forget the subscription trap is for free in the beginning. So, see you next time. Adios, amigos.